Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to fix out the issue of stuttering, lagging, FPS drops or the game is crashing in Warzone 2. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and proceed with the resolution. First of all, right click on start menu and choose the option device manager. Here expand your display adapter and right click on your dedicated GPU. Choose the option properties, hit driver tab and if you have recently updated your driver, the option of rollback driver must be available. Go ahead and choose the option rollback driver to roll back your drivers to the previously stable state. If rollback doesn't work out, you need to update your driver to the latest version. For that, note down the name of your GPU and then open up your browser. Here, if you have an AMD, scroll down and from these options, select the graphic card, choose the series of your AMD Radeon and hit the submit button to find the download link. Depending upon the type of windows, expand it, download the software by clicking over here and then install it in your system. For Nvidia, again I suggest you to go with manually updating the drivers. So again, from this list, choose the series, windows type and then click on the start search option. Now scroll down and you will find the option of GE game ready drivers. Again, click on the option get download and there you go. Here is the download link. Go ahead and download it and install it in your system. Same for the Intel. Here is the official website. Choose graphics. From this left pane, you can further filter out the type of graphic card you have and then click on this download option to download the latest drivers for your GPU. After installing, go ahead and try to play the game again. If this failed to work out, click on start menu and type Windows security. Click on the option device security and here you will find the option of core isolation. Click on core isolation details. And at your end, if you have turned on the memory integrity, I completely suggest you to turn it off. Because turning on this feature will consume a lot of RAM and virtual memory which in turn result in the stuttering and FPS drops while playing Warzone 2. Now if this also fails, let's proceed with the next step. Open up your battle.net browser and click on the settings option. Click on the option game settings and here check mark the icon additional command line arguments. From here you need to type three commands one by one. First one is hyphen dx11. This will force the game to use DirectX 11. If you don't find improvement in the process, go ahead and type here 12 instead of 11. And third one is D3D11. You need to try all these three options one by one to check which DirectX version provides you a better performance. And then hit the done button. Next thing you can do is to open up your Warzone game. Now in the Warzone 2 interface, click on this settings option and click on the option graphics. Now here click on this quality tab and find an option of video memory scale. Whatever the scale is present over here, I suggest you to go in between 60 to 70 instead of 80, 90 or 95. Suppose I will go with 65. Next please scroll to the bottom and here find an option of Port cache. If you have a very good GPU and have a very high VRAM, then completely suggest you to choose the ultra option over here. Nextly is, if you have a low end GPU, I suggest you to choose either low or medium option. Go completely with low if you have a low end GPU because port cache directly affects your VRAM, which is virtual RAM that you can verify right from here. So make sure if you have a low end PC, choose port cache to be low. If you have a high end, choose port cache to be ultra. Once it is done, click on the option apply settings. Now go ahead and play your game to fix out Warzone 2 stuttering, lagging or FPS drops issue. Now if this method also failed, let's proceed with the next step. Right click on start menu and choose the option task manager. Here click on the performance tab. Here you will find the number of cores in your system. For example, at my end, I have 6 cores. Note down the number. Now, head over to this PC, Documents, Call of Duty, Players, 
and option 3.cod to 2.csv file. Right click on it and choose the option open with notepad. Scroll to the bottom and here find the option of render worker count and you will find the number right over here. From here you need to type the number which is lower than your cores present in your system. In my system I have 6 cores so I suggest you to type the number as 4. If you have a 8 core then type 6. If you have a 12 core then type 10. Once it is done click on the file menu choose the option save. Now close it. Play your warzone 2 and this will completely fix out the stuttering, FPS drop or lagging issues while playing the game. And if all the method fails, I completely suggest you to move your game to an SSD. It will drastically improve the performance of your warzone 2. So this is all about it friends. This is how you will fix out the issue. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.